Have you ever heard of rally racing? Do you know how crazy it is to hear a tiny little four-cylinder engine being strangled for all the life it has? So, this is a bit of a time capsule, and if we're honest, it was a bit difficult to watch at times. Hello, it's James here. This video and, and actually the next several in this series are going to be a bit different. You see, I shot these a long time ago and, and they were used for a different channel, but it's something that I made personally. And I want to make sure I can explain what I am doing with the rally car, but I can't actually go back and remake these videos. There's, there's no way to do it, right? I can only take all the stuff out of the rally car and, and build a cage and all those things once. So the next several videos, I, I think it's four or five, are going to be uh, just different. So hopefully you enjoy them. If you've seen them before, please like them again. And uh, here we go. Please enjoy How to Build a Rally Car Part 1. Some of you may not know I am a bit of a uh, auto sport fan. Specifically, I like rally racing and uh, Formula One, MotoGP. So, <clears throat> we've got our Cricket car here, which is, of course, a street legal, regular, registered little Fiesta. Uh, but we're going to be doing a little bit of work on it over the next couple months. And that means that you get to tune in and watch it happen. As we take our tiny little Cricket car, turn it into an actual rally car, and then uh, start throwing it through the ringer. Um, in case you're wondering, you know, how do we get the family around and all that stuff? Sport fan. So we bought this uh, Dodge Grand Caravan RT minivan, but it's an RT, so you know, it's a sport van. Angry Dodge sport fan. <clears throat> so modifications we're going to be making uh first thing first we're going to lighten the heck out of it we're going to tear all these seats out uh take out everything that's unnecessary in there it's been a daily driver for a while so there's kid seats and like crayon stains on the seats and all that crap we're gonna tear all of this out of here take it all the way down to the bare metal and uh make one heck of a light little nimble vehicle what's nice is all the livery is still already done uh, at some point we've got to get the proper stickering going on here so that'll cover up part of the logo but uh we still have plenty of room up front to get more stickering done so the next step is going to be to take it over to the shop in michigan that's going to be doing the actual uh build up for the roll cage and the safety equipment prepping it for the seats all that jazz um, i was a mechanic in a past life you could say so i'm gonna take care of all the rest of it the suspension wheels uh engine tuning all that after we get it back but first we need to lighten it and get it all prepped for the safety equipment so let's get started so the very first thing that we need to do is get this thing clean there's been three kids living in this thing okay not living in it but they might as well be with how freaking messy it is in there so let's get it cleaned up and ready for the next part Okay, 
So now with the car seat out, uh, kids car seat, obviously not the actual seats from the Fiesta, um, some trash and some personal effects. I found stuff, some of my army stuff in there, uh, water bottles, like reusable metal ones, uh, lots of trash and just kids snacks, Cheerios, all that stuff. Uh, so let's see what it looks like, a little bit different. I love my little Fiesta ST. I've taken this thing all over the place. We've gone to shows. I use it as my daily driver, well, that or the motorcycle. Um, and, you know, it's still something that can be used as a daily driver. A lot of people don't know. In fact, I didn't know even. And I've been watching rally racing for years. I didn't realize these things are all street registered. You have to have a street legal vehicle to go between each stage. So there you go. A little knowledge for the day for you. With that said, we are going to be doing some pretty extensive modifications. Uh, not just things like wheels and suspension, but we're going to be tuning up the engine. We're running the two-wheel drive open class in the American Rally Association National Championship next year. That'll be 2020 for all of you viewing this thing way in the future. <laughs> How's 2020 going for you? Uh, and that means that we can have a little bit of fun we can take this little engine and we can put a big old turbo in it and everything else and murder a bunch of power. But first we need to make sure the safety stuff is done and that, you know, all our actual handling modifications that matter are done. Engine stuff can come later. So let's see what this thing sounds like right now. That way later we can compare it when everything's all done. Let's take a little tour. Got the keys here. Okay, okay, so getting back into here, uh, as you can see, still could use a good uh, cleaning and vacuuming, but we've got all the junk out. Come to the back. So when I bought this car, it had the uh, ST package, not just the performance side of things, but also uh, the rubber floor mats and i think there's even a yeah so we've got the regular mats back here oh more trash under the seat um <clears throat> the uh, car cover which has never even been out of the bag so we'll probably start using that at some point it has these sweet red and black recaro seats they are extremely form-fitting i mean it's kind of hard to see in the video but it's it's really deep i mean it is more than a hand depth in there but the uh new seats that we're going to have in there for the race car are going to be even more extreme of course they're going to be fixed in place so that'll just about do it for this first day <clears throat> what i really wanted to do is just show you the car show you what we're going to be doing uh, and tell you a little bit about the project this is going to take place over several months uh, or for any other reason actually just just hit the like button um subscribe to our channel we've got tons more rally car stuff coming what I'd really like to do is down in the comments, let me know your thoughts. Are we crazy for doing this? Should we not be tearing apart our personal family car to make it into a race car? Is that just nuts? Do you think that maybe we shouldn't have anything to do in rally racing? Or maybe we're going to be like the next Red Bull, right? Just in all these crazy sports. And we're going to start it, the American Rally Association and this Ford Fiesta. I would love to hear from you in the comments below what's the next thing that we should do to this car i mean yeah we're just getting started i literally just cleaned all the trash out of it but in the next episode we're going to be tearing all this stuff out seeing how much we can lighten up the car and then uh you know really get to work prepping it for the safety stuff and then taking it to michigan getting that cage put in there's lots to do after that so again please like subscribe comment below let us know what you think about this project and uh you know until next time well that is about all that i have for you today my friends so until next time stay safe drive safe and be happy bye thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to go to dadbod.marketing for all of your free business and marketing advice 
Please like, share, and subscribe if you got something out of this video. And don't forget to check out our other videos right here. Uh, now I gotta get this thing back to the sport van. And it's raining. But that doesn't mean there's not a little bit more room. If you have a company or you have an organization that you want to get the name out there of next year to a giant national audience, hit us up. We're going to be doing the entire season for the 2020 American Rally Association National Championship in the two-wheel drive open class. And uh, we're super excited to get, you know, get your name out there, uh, get some cool brand recognition for you, as well as... You know, maybe you can go to a race, take a drive in a race car. It'd be fun. Okay, guys, it's time. It's time to tear this thing apart. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, please stand by for more coming out over the next several weeks. Uh, and if you have any suggestions on new things for the rally car, uh, let me know. They will definitely be delayed a bit because I am still here in Fort Lee, Virginia. But when I do get back, that's going to be the next big project. So, yeah.